It might sound crazy, but that's my goal for today. With the cost of housing going up, 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 then most everyone will appreciate this amazing home offer from Clayton. Hi. Hi. Don's got a good record there. Sure does. Fine Great sound. Fine sound. Last morning show. Right. We'll be on. It looks like the time isn't definite yet, and if the ball games are ever over, and I like ball games, and I'm looking forward to that one tomorrow. We're going to whoop up on them Georgia Bulldogs. Yeah, I hope so. Do what they say. I hope so. Come over here, Ray, if you're going to talk. <laughs> we should do this last show right. They have a, okay. They have a, they have a, uh, this is DD, clean. Yeah, they have a DD, DDD club. That's Do Dooley's dogs. <laughs> Dooley, you know, Dooley. coach and all that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I thought it was funny, Ray. <laughs> Are you a member, charter member? Yeah. Well, I'd like to join. I'd like to join. Fly all the band down there. <laughs> I gotta fly my banker down there. You find bands easier you can bankers nowadays. <laughs> Would he get up this morning this early for us? Brother Joe. We're gonna have a good good trip down there. Well, I hate to, I hate this is the last morning of the show. I, every morning, every morning when I get up, I'm glad, but uh, it's great, great to be alive this early in the morning. Good to wake up alive this early in the morning. <laughs> some people are always asking us, why are you, why are you quitting the show? And we got some real nice mail and, and we are gonna send out pictures to everyone that sends a name and address. And, and <laughs> Joe got a, you, Ray, you got a, some mail? Well, I do want my mail. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Harry Whittington will be right back on the, Harry, you're gonna be right back on Monday morning for a, for a full hour. That's great. <laughs> One of the station executives said to yesterday, you know, that any way you do a morning show, it's a, it's quite a grind, but I don't think it's the, the, the all the cameras, you, you guys have just been great, Vic, and, and uh, Harold's done a great job on audio in there. Real, real fine. We, we appreciate it and we enjoy it. Seems like the station officials, though, have a little different idea about how a show should be done than, than what we did. We went down to Nashville, and uh, the, the two morning shows down there are tremendously successful. Boy, they're sold out. They're profitable to the station. The station hires all the band, hires the MC, and if they have a pretty little girl singer, they hire her and everything. Here we do all that. We do any paying done. We do. We do all the paying. I think they ought to appreciate that. But, <laughs> but it's anyway. We're supposed to have a lot of big sets and and a whole bunch of things here that just never came about. So we gonna quit. <laughs> 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 oh gosh, we'll be right back on though with other with other shows. Then we'll be back on this show. And we've had a great time here with with all these people. Let's do a song. Okay. I play be Porter. <laughs> Don't turn this off, Vic. I play Porter and you play Dolly. Okay. This is one of the prettiest things I think they've ever done. Genie's Afraid of the Dark. Ain't it dark in the ground? Oh, Daddy, I'd 
Always afraid of the dark, and we could never understand why. Because we looked after Jeannie with the very best of care, because Jeannie was our only child. Perhaps it was death that she was so afraid of, because it took her from us one dark, stormy night. I think we always knew we'd never see Jeannie grown, because it seemed she was destined to die. But on Jeannie's grave we placed an eternal flame And it glows and it'll never lose its flame And on the darkest night there's always light Cause Jeannie's afraid of the dark Our Jeannie's afraid of the dark Thank you. I, I like that song real, real well. Kathy, you take your mic, and Ray, you take my guitar, and let's have, let's have little Stevie Timbleton come in here. Hey, Steve. How you doing, Tiger? Fine, thank you. How about singing a couple of songs for us right now? Okay. From Statesville, North Carolina, Stevie Timbleton. There you are, and it's Folsom Prison Blues.